Hey guys, what's up? Wolfsa Dude here, and today I'm going to teach you how to get mods and how to make a modded Minecraft server. So let's get started. First, you want to go to Forge. Now, this is the official Forge site. Forge allows you to put mods onto your Minecraft. So then, today we're going to do a 1.10.2 tutorial, but you can do it in any other version. Now, you can see we've got 1.10.2 down there, and you want to hit Installer. Now it's downloaded, go to your downloads and drag the forge thing onto your desktop. Then just double click on it to start it running. Now you can see we're on the forge installer. You want to install the client. Make sure that is th that will be the same for everything. And you want to untick Mercurius. And then you want to hit OK. Now it's finished installing. Go to your Minecraft folder, which is located here. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description that shows you how to get your Minecraft folder there. Then you want to go to your Mods folder. If you don't have one of those, just create one. And then you can go onto the internet and find whatever mods you want. I've got a furniture mod in there, which I'll be using to demonstrate with. So then you can close out of that to go into your Minecraft, choose the Ford profile, and make sure it has 1.10.2 forge under it and then you want to hit play now your minecraft's launched you can see you have a mods bar and you can also see that you have four mods loaded so when you click on here you can see the default things that it comes with and there's my furniture mod right now you can just go on to single player create a new world and just call it mod mod tutorial tutorial there you go and put it on creative and then and make it super flat and yep that's just gonna all stay the same yep just leave that all as I like it and then just create a new world and then the lo the world will load up and when it has, I'll show you what you got. So now you're in your Minecraft world, when you go into your creative bar, you can see you have arrows at the top. So you can go across, and there's your furniture mod. If you have more mods, then you'll be able to go along more. So there's my furniture mod. As you can see, I have all of these different things I can use. I have like, like random stuff. I have post boxes, I have a toilet, I have fences, I have cooking equipment, I even have a trampoline and a log fire. So as you can see this is just pretty cool. And some of these even have like custom achievements, right? The best thing is, is these trampolines. So when you put them next to each other, they grow. Look at that. And like look. So I'm not even holding anything and I'm bouncing. Isn't that cool? So now you also have a fire, which looks very cool. And yeah, that's the mod. Um, does this? Ah, I've never used these. Right, Um, so now we're going to get onto the server part. So what you want to do is come back to your desktop, create a new folder, and call it modded server and then you want to double click on the forge installer that you clicked on earlier and let it load now it's loaded you want to click on install server make sure to turn that off and change this to your um, so you just want to choose your desktop and then you want to choose your modded server and then click choose and then you can just click OK now you can see it successfully downloaded the Minecraft server then you want to hit OK and open your modded server and there you go there's your Minecraft server now what you want to do is go to text edit and paste in this command I'll put in the description but first actually I'm going to rename this to 
forge.jar. And then make sure that, same as that. Change these. These need to be quite high for the amount of mods you want to get. You won't do with about gigabyte, you want kind of about four gigabytes. So then you want to save it to your desktop and call it start.command and save it to your desktop. Making to close out of that. Drag in your start command. Clean it up. And then start your server. And guess what? We got this message. And you guys should probably know how to fix this by now. Go in here. CH mod. Wait, what? CH mod A plus X. And drag that in. Hit enter. And close it. Double click on it. And it's going to start loading your server. As you can see, it stopped. And guess what? We have a EULA. So we have to agree to it. So let's go in, change it to true, and then close out of it, and start our server again. And I'll catch you guys once it's loaded. There you go. Now you can see it's loaded. You want to stop your server, and then close it. And now you have your, all your files. Now the mods folder has to be the same as your Minecraft mods folder. I already have my mod in there. So then you can start your server up again, and this time it will start with the mod. Now you can see it's done, so you want to go to your Minecraft, go to multiplayer, and there's your server. As you can see, it's through localhost. And then you can join your server, let it load. It will take a while because you're the first person to ever join your server unless of course someone else has joined. And there you go. It's just loading in now. And then you want to go back to your server and you want to op me. And then you can do slash g game mode c and as you can see look you have your furniture mod you can place stuff on the server and yep that's how it all works so now you have mods and you have a modded server to play with with your friends i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video goodbye